Travel Robot Presence Top 10 Things to Do in Dominica Hey, in this video we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Dominica. Known as the Nature Island of the Caribbean, Dominica remains an unspoiled paradise for divers, hikers, and naturalists. Brimming with things to do outdoors, it is the largest of the Windward Islands and features dramatic volcanic landscapes with lush rainforests, waterfalls, lakes, gorges, rivers, steamy hot springs, and the highest mountains in the Eastern Caribbean. The rugged coastline shelters rustic coastal villages and rocky black sand beaches, many of which are good snorkeling or diving spots. Colorful Roseau, the main town and capital of the island, reflects the island's cultural roots in its food, art, languages, and customs. Due to the fact that only two small airports service the island, Dominica remains refreshingly untouched by package tourism. Many people visit Dominica on a day trip from a cruise or a multi-day trip from other nearby islands. Others spend the winter in Dominica to escape colder climates and enjoy the island's stunning natural splendors. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Explore Morn Chua Pitons National Park. Morn Chua Pitons National Park is the jewel of Dominica. Encompassing much of the island's mountainous interior, the park is primordial rainforest, from thick jungle, with giant ferns and wild orchids, to the stunted cloud forest on the upper slopes of 1,424-meter Morn Chua Pitons. Highlights of the 17,000-acre UNESCO World Heritage Site include beautiful lakes, like Boiling Lake and Mist Shrouded. Bori Lake and many of the most picturesque waterfalls in Dominica also lie in this lush park, including Victoria Waterfall, Trafalgar Falls, Emerald Pool, and Middleham Falls. At Titu Gorge, you can swim in a crisp jade green pool through the narrow canyon to a beautiful waterfall. One of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies was filmed in this magical spot. And the park has another surprise. The steaming Valley of Desolation is an area of boiling mud ponds, brightly colored hot springs, and mini geysers. Number 9. Trafalgar Falls. The hike to Trafalgar Falls is one of the most popular things to do in Dominica. Known as Mother and Father, these twin falls lie at the end of an easy 10 to 15 minute hike through a forest of ginger plants and vanilla orchids. The cool mainstream of Trafalgar Falls originates in the mountains and is joined near the bottom by a hot mineral spring. You can take a dip in the hot and cold pools amid the sulfur dyed rocks at the base of the falls. Number 8. Middleham Falls. It is easy to see why Middleham Falls is deemed one of the best waterfalls in Dominica. It is beautiful, soothing, and refreshing. Also said in Morn Chua Pitons National Park, this captivating cascade plummets about 200 feet from the mountains of Laudette. It's such a steep drop that some visitors say the water seems to fall straight from the heavens. Hiking to the falls. If you're hoping to hike to the falls, Prepare yourself for an uphill climb that will be challenging for children and others who feel more comfortable with an easy hike. Be sure to wear proper hiking shoes, as the ground can get slippery, and bring water as there are no facilities on site. If you're feeling adventurous, pack a bathing suit and jump off the cliff into the cool pool below. It's an experience you won't forget. Be sure to have a camera at the ready, as the backdrop is stunning. Number 7. Boiling Lake. Boiling Lake is one of the most popular attractions in Morn Troll Petons National Park. This eerie-looking pool of bubbling gray-green water lies at the end of a strenuous, three-hour hike through thick forest, but it's worth it. Geologists believe the 63-meter-wide actively boiling lake, the world's second-largest, is a flooded fumarole, a crack in the earth allowing hot gases to vent from the molten lava below. The temperature at the edge of the lake ranges from 82 to 92 degrees Celsius and is at boiling point in the center. If you're hiking after a rainstorm, take extra care as the trail becomes slick and muddy. Guides are highly recommended. Number 6. Relax on Dominica's Beaches Miro Beach is one of the most popular stretches of coast. About a 25-minute drive from the capital, Roseau, it's a favorite place to visit for the cruise ship crowd. You can rent sun loungers and umbrellas and purchase snacks and drinks from funky bamboo shacks along the shoreline. If you're looking for things to do in Portsmouth, 
Dominica's second largest town, head to Purple Turtle Beach. This is another lovely palm-studded stretch of Bayshude sand, with a popular namesake restaurant along its edge. Vying for the most beautiful slice of coast on Dominica is wild and remote Batabu Beach on the island's far north coast. Accessing the beach is an adventure. Four IBD vehicles are required on the rocky rutted track, or you can park up the top and opt for a workout walking down to the shore. Number 5. Papalote Tropical Gardens Pretty Papalote Tropical Gardens are a haven for artists, botanists, and photographers. Fed by a small stream, these 10-acre gardens form the grounds of a charming eco-lodge, the Papalote Wilderness Retreat. Paths wind among bamboo trees, ginger blossoms, indigenous orchids, bromeliads, and begonias. You can also see many frogs, birds, and butterflies in the lush gardens. Parts of the property offer beautiful views of the mountains and valley, and you can enjoy a soak in the retreat's mineral-rich pool, fed by a nearby hot spring. The Twin Trafalgar Falls lie a short uphill hike from Papalote. Number 4. Victoria Falls One of the most impressive and photogenic waterfalls on the island, Victoria Falls, in Morne Chua Petons National Park, is formed by the White River cascading over a cliff into a warm pool below. Minerals give the water a milky white color. Wear water shoes with good grip as the approximately 40-minute hike involves river crossings and boulder scrambling but these beautiful falls and the river itself are worth seeing. You can relax at the end with a dip in the warm pool. Guides are strongly recommended, as part of the hike requires scrambling over slick rocks through the river. Number 3. Roseau Framed by lush peaks, Dominica's capital of Roseau, pronounced Roseau, is a colorful jumble of West Indian cottages and busy market stalls with a cool vibe. Unlike other Caribbean capitals, you won't find any glitzy shops or chain stores here, just locally owned stores and a friendly, local vibe. In 2017, Hurricane Maria destroyed most of the buildings here, but the town has made a remarkable comeback, and many of the new structures are hurricane-proof. Rozo's waterfront features a seaside promenade and cruise ship dock, which is crowded with visitors during the busy winter season. Near the dock in the center of town, the Old Market of Roseau sells fresh tropical fruit, vegetables, herbs, baskets, and coconut shell souvenirs. Street Patrick's Catholic Cathedral, a 19th-century Gothic Romanesque. Style Church is one of the city's major landmarks. Other popular things to do in Roseau, Dominica includes strolling around the Dominica Botanic Gardens and exploring the island's history at the Compact Dominica Museum. Here, you'll find interesting exhibits on the slave trade as well as Creole and Amerindian culture. Many visitors also take the short drive to historic Mornbruce for panoramic views of the city. You can also walk there from the Botanic Gardens. Number 2. Cabrits National Park In northwest Dominica, Cabrits National Park preserves lush rainforest, swampland, black sand beaches, and thriving coral reefs. This scenic peninsula reveals panoramic views from its highest point, and the reefs offer some excellent snorkeling and diving opportunities. The park is also home to one of the most interesting historical sites in Dominica. Here, you can visit the remains of Fort Shirley, an 18th-century British garrison with beautiful views of Prince Rupert Bay. A little museum at the entry sheds light on Dominica's colonial history. Hiking trails take you through some of the jungly terrain, past the ruins of the garrison, and to viewpoints with sweeping vistas of the town of Portsmouth, the lush mountains, and the blue sea beyond. Benches pepper the area, providing picturesque places to stop and rest. This is a lovely place to visit for a couple of hours to soak up some history, enjoy a short hike, and snap some photos. Number 1. Visit the Model Village in Kalinago Territory. Dominica has the largest remaining tribe of Kalinago people, Carib Indians, in the Caribbean. If you want to learn a little about their fascinating culture, you can visit Kalinago Barana Ot, a model village on the northeast coast, about 20 miles from Rozo. Nestled amid banana and breadfruit trees, the village is a cluster of traditional wooden buildings. You can wander around the village and watch the Carib Indians carving dugout canoes, weaving baskets and mats, and sharing their knowledge of medicinal plants. The Caribs survive through fishing and agriculture, as well as the crafts they sell to visitors. 
The village is a little off the beaten track, but it adds interesting cultural insight to this fascinating country and is one of the more unusual things to do in Dominica. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.